Okay, today I want to give you guys an update on what is that I bring in my bag when I shoot on location. Everything fits in this small bag. Uh, and by the way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below where you can find all the things that I'm gonna show you here, including this. So uh, everything fits in this small bag from Amazon. Before I used this one, I had a backpack, which was a little inconvenient when I had to travel. I had to bring two backpacks, one for my clothes, one for my camera gear. And sometimes I had to put the camera backpack inside the other backpack. So it didn't really make any sense. I found this bag and it's a lot better. It has a lot of pockets on the side inside where you can place a lot of stuff this strap I can put around my neck or over my shoulder and carry it that way it's a much better way to handle things and to access your equipment okay so let me open the bag so I can show you guys it's not too much let me begin with the, the camera in the last video I was using a Canon 5d mark II. Uh, since then I have upgraded to the Canon EOS R this is a mirrorless camera if you are still debating whether you should change to a mirrorless system or not I'll say just jump on it. The technology in this camera is a quantum leap from the, the 5D Mark II. The main difference for me is the autofocus. The autofocus technology in these cameras are so much better than the DSLRs. For me, that's the main difference between these two. My work has improved so much. With this one, I get, you know, between one or two percent of my images out of focus. With a DSLR, it was more like 20 or 30 percent. Okay, so it's much, much better. There's a lot more functionality. And I just really love, you know, the size, the weight is a lot better. So I fully recommend you to change to the mirrorless system and the EOS R or the R r5 or the r6 i don't know i haven't tried those but i'm guessing they're probably better than this one this is the lens that i use for most of my shoots and if you want to see a full review of this lens and this other one here that i'm going to talk in a second uh, i just recently made a tutorial on those so i'm going to put a link here so you can go and check that out but this is the lens that i use for most of my work it, it stays here attached to my camera most of the time i use it with this adapter uh, ring from canon also it just works perfectly i don't have any issues with the adapter and the, and the lens so that's my camera and my my main lens and then I bring this 85 1.2 Canon this is actually my favorite lens but it's a little inconvenient to handle and it's a little tricky to use but if you know how to use it it creates amazing amazing images this is my favorite lens although I don't use it very often because I need a lot of space the autofocus is slow and other things but it's really lovely lens i'm bringing now this other lens it's a wider lens it's a 28 1.8 i use basically when i i'm running out of space when i'm using my 50. it's a beautiful lens i like it a lot i'm learning how to use the angles with this lens because it will distort the proportions of the body but if you learn how to use the angles to your advantage you can create beautiful beautiful images this is also the lens that i use when i do facebook lives or tutorials on youtube um, this is a very important piece of equipment for me is my Bluetooth speaker. I do everything with music, so I bring this guy. Uh, it's a Bluetooth speaker I connect to my phone and I play my Spotify list here every time I shoot. By the way, if you would like to know the music that I play when I do my shoots, I'm going to leave the link in the description below where you can access my playlist in Spotify. And you can also follow me there. Then we have this GoPro. This is the black, uh, eight black uh, version of the GoPro. I bring this to do uh, behind the scenes and sometimes for uh, my clients when they ask me for videos, I don't use this as the main camera, but as a backup and you know, kind of to do behind the scenes, as I mentioned. It's really great. I love it. The quality is amazing. I have tried different versions of this, you know, Chinese knockoffs, which are, you know, a fraction of the price, but uh, they are also a fraction of the quality. If you're thinking about getting one, get the GoPro. The quality, you you're not going to find anything similar. It's a little more expensive, but it's totally worth it. And then I have here a charger and a battery there. Also here I have some modifiers, a prism that I can use here to create some interesting shots. I also have this one here. Let me show you, you know, and I also have this one here. Okay. I don't use it for every shot, but if you use it too much, then it gets old really quickly. And then I have here some memory cards. I don't think I need that many, but I just bring just in case and and that's that guys thank you very much for watching let me know what you think about my equipment maybe uh, tell me about your favorite lenses and why you use them i would love to hear from you uh, let me know if you have any questions but if not uh, thank you very much and uh, i'll see you later take care bye bye